the first thing you should probably do whenever creating a new workbook is you probably should give it a name and save it. Uh, that way you can ensure that you you don't uh, somehow lose it during a power outage or something like that. So the way you can do that is just go up here, click on the Office button, go down to Save As, and choose Excel Workbook. Now another way that you could do this is go Alt F A, and that's just a hot uh, key shortcut that would get you to the same screen. So we're going to click on Excel Workbook here, and that brings up the Save As screen. And on the Save As screen, I'm going to save it under My Documents. You might choose to click on My Computer, and you might have a flash drive where you save your work, or your My Drive, or something like that. I'm going to save it under My Documents, Accounting 232B, and I have already created a folder, which is a simple interest loan calculator schedule folder. Uh, if you want to create your own folder, all you have to do is you, you cl click on this here, Create New Folder, and then you can give it a name. Uh, you've probably already learned how to do that, but if not, that's how you create a new folder. So I like to use folders to kind of keep uh, work together uh, and not get it all mixed up between my different classes that I teach or uh, other areas that uh, I might keep files for. Now the name of this schedule, as you can see I've already uh, created this schedule a few times. I'm going to create another one here. Simple interest loan calculator and we'll call this the final tutorial so I know uh, which one I'm working with and then I would click on the save button here. You notice that this is an Excel workbook um, that means these are Excel 2007 workbooks uh, sometimes you might see uh, you might choose to save it in a prior version maybe you, the person you're sending it to only has Excel 2003 so you can go down here under the Save As type, choose the drop down, and choose um, maybe Excel 2003. As you can see, I have no Excel 2003 files in this folder, um, and I could save it there. But I, I don't choose to do that because I want it to be in Excel 2007, and I'll choose Save. So up here in the title bar, you see that the uh, name of the file has uh, now changed. It was Book One. Now it's the final tutorial, and. Uh, Hopefully you've got that named and saved. I'll try to go through this fairly quickly, but I want to make sure that uh, the audio matches the video. Sometimes if I go too fast, uh, talking something through the, uh, the video that gets captured doesn't match, but I do hope that this, this will wind up matching. To start off, let's title this up, make sure people know what the uh, spreadsheet is for. These are some simple spreadsheet formatting rules of thumb that I recommend that you follow. We'll title it the Simple Interest Loan Calculator Schedule. Below that we might note who prepared it, prepared by, and I might move over a couple cells um, C2 and type Kevin Kimball as the preparer. Under A3, prepared on, which might be the date that I prepared it on. Today is uh, June 12, 2009. You may have noticed in a prior video you can do something like this called today and uh, it'll put in the date today. You see they match because today is June 12th. Um, but anyway, that's something worth knowing in case you want to make sure that the current date always appears on what you're printing for example. Then we're going to type in the purpose of this spreadsheet. The purpose of this worksheet is to compute the total interest to be incurred and you'll notice that I actually will uh, type off the screen um, uh, but don't worry about that because we'll make sure it all comes back and fits back on the screen uh, later on. But um, I'll try to at least make sure that you uh, catch the words. To be incurred and the total, I'll bring this over a little bit, make sure it still fits. The total payments 
to be made including principal over the life of a simple interest loan with monthly payments due at and you see now it's uh, wrapped visually due at a specified rate for a specified period of time. So right that, now that's not very nice because uh, the words go off the screen. It's too wide for a single 8.5 by 11 printed page. So what we might choose to do is we're going to highlight, I'm going to click left mouse click and drag this out to F4. So all that did is I held the left mouse button down, I dragged and dropped to F4. That highlighted that. So now this has been selected and I'm going to choose under the um, home ribbon. I'm under the home ribbon. Under alignment we have merge and center and I want to merge the cells. So that means cells in column A through F on row 4 have now become one cell. You see that you don't have these vertical lines in this anymore. Uh, which is pretty good, but uh, still the words uh, go off out of the cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the wrap text option under home alignment wrap text. Click on that and now what that means is when it got to the edge of this cell it wrapped and it continued. But since this row is too short you can't see it. So I'm going to move my cursor, my left mouse click right between row 4 and 5 and I'm going to drag it down maybe about 68. Looks like it's still too short. Drag it down a little bit further. Maybe I'll just double click. Double click. As you can see brought it back to a single row. I didn't want to do that actually. Bring it down a little bit further. So in other words just adjust this so it looks nice. Maybe we'll also get into uh, the edit formula bar up here. Just click your left mouse up at the top. And you can either hit B up here for bold and U up here for underline, or you can learn the hotkey, which is Control B and Control U, and that does the same thing. It uh, underlined and bolded that.